Servus, greetings and hello, here is Tabletop Lenny and uh, I'd like to show you what happened on my working bench uh, within the last uh, two or three weeks. And as you can see, I'm into modeling trees uh, with wire and with uh, modeling putty, with modeling plastics. And yeah, I put on this black clothes to have a sharp and uh, contrastful uh, picture for you. I think black is the best screen for taking pictures or making movies for miniatures. And here you can see um, that I start to build my trees by using wire. And here, then I go over with green stuff to uh, fix the wire. And afterwards I work with thermoreactive plastic like uh, FIMO, which was uh, sold in Germany. And yeah, with uh, using these plastics and uh, modeling masses, I'd like to find the best way to structure the bark of the trees. And here you can see some uh, different uh, tries, if you want so. I'm uh, finally not really satisfied. So uh, I'm working on, uh, on a better technique to uh, model the bark. And I think uh, my newest tries it uh, comes up that a mixture of direct modeling and uh, using a self-made stamp which an embark texture on it uh, to 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 model the, the bark it depends on the scale the the bigger trees are for the war gaming or miniature war gaming scale which is 20 or 230 millimeter and here you can see i also do an uh, alien vegetation which might be related to the well-known spore mines and uh, this is for my uh, infinity diorama, for my Pan-Oceania shock army, which I got from the guys from Covos Belly. Thanks to you guys in Spain, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'd like to make a really nice uh, diorama, which you will see later in this video. And obviously you can get uh, impressions on Facebook or on Google+, etc. Yeah, it's uh, not easy. This, these uh, alien plants are made the same way, wire, green stuff and uh, I made some details. Here you can see I also tried a miniature, but it not really works as well as uh, it should because uh, the, 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 the main thing to get a nice sculpt is to have a good handle for your sculpting object, if it's a miniature or if it's in a tree. Uh, otherwise you will touch sculpted areas again and you can't put the right pressure in. Here you can see uh, my first try. It's uh, at least the second try of a garden or park diorama or park scenery. The first was in a graveyard, which was my first commission work ever, which I made in terrain or scale modeling, which was from an, from friend who's uh, who's gotten a toy store and uh, got some parts that he wants to give me. And he said, hey, can you build from this uh, graveyard set a nice graveyard? A little bit scary and mud graveyard for me and i said okay give me your old model trees and your modeling uh, materials and all this stuff and i will build you a model graveyard if you're looking for it so if you're looking for a model graveyard i have no problem with it <laughs> i think some people are really interested in model graveyards and here you can see i started to make garden and park dioramas and this is a, a piece where i practice different techniques and yeah this is um, in the scale of the it's called ho h0 in germany which is uh, i think the most common european scale for model rail, uh, rail railroads and yeah so this is um, great for park diorama the scale because you get a lot of stuff you get all kinds of different plants and vegetation objects and park object like banks and things so H0, which is named in Germany, H0, is a, is a great scale to get really, really, really big sortiment of modeling materials. And you get um, the miniatures, um, which are very suitable for park uses, because they uh, walk through your landscape and uh, enjoy the nice place. The, the nice uh, locus amunos, which the Greek will say. <laughs> and now we come to the next diorama, which I was building in the last week, which uh, 
I told you I got the miniatures from my Covers Belly from the game Infinity. It's uh, based on the campaign book, which is called Paradiso. And so I tried to make some interesting alien-like jungle vegetation and uh, set them in a canyon-like red rock canyon. Um, for this red rock, I use, uh, for the rocks, I use styrofoam. And I find out a new technique by stippling with an uh, with a with some relative, relatively uh, big brush into the filler which I brushed on, uh, on, the, on, the, on the foam blocks, on the foam parts of the rocks. So this is a really interesting technique to make sandstone. And obviously a variation of uh, plastic plants. These come, uh, the big ones come from a well-known Scandinavian uh, shop where you can buy, what's the name? Uh, Furniture? No. The furniture where you can buy chairs and uh, all those and tables and all those things and beds. Yeah, and this is 90% done. I uh, cut it out the, pace, uh, the, uh, the, the areas where the bases of the miniatures are located. And as normal, the last 10% of a uh, modeling piece are, for me, the the most difficult one <laughs> the difficult persons of the whole build because you have the structure and you have to give it the final touch the final details the the final paint jobs to make it really really outstanding hopefully <laughs> and here you can see the second diorama park diorama that i'm working on in the moment and um, you can see on a separate video on my youtube channel the technique that I use to build the topography and uh, it's a mixture of uh, filler and um, cutwork pieces and uh, afterwards I go over with sanding paper to get a smooth transition for the slopes and uh, the valleys and all those stuff to get them in scale and here are some uh, 20 to 30 millimeter pieces it's a wall segment from uh, foam and here I painted this on my last uh, fairway convention, which was the roleplay convention. By the way, um, I really appreciated to be a part of uh, a crew of painters and scale modelers, which is named Paint Your Imagination. And yeah, they participate on a lot of convention and uh, conventions and fairways and uh, events. And you know, I'm a part of it, and um, that is really great. And Perhaps we will meet in the future on Taktika in Hamburg, which seems to be the greatest for miniature wargaming in Germany. The second piece, let's come back to the terrain, is uh, made of uh, modeling clay. And uh, yeah, it should be an interesting rugged structure, perhaps, for uh, casting uses in resin for the future. But I'm not really sure. It's just some experiments and I painted them on the roleplay convention. So. Uh, Thanks for watching. Thanks. Uh, perhaps you are uh, you got some inspiration, and if you like what you see, it would be awesome to get some forward and some reposts and likes and all those. By the way, happy building and uh, happy gaming. Stay tuned. Bye. 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 <laughs>